If you are a non-coder and still want to build a regression machine learning model, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a regression machine learning model using K9, that too without any coding. But before we go there, hey problem solvers, my name is Kunal Naik. I am the founder of Data Science Masterminds. I am on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively so that you can quickly grow in your career. So do me a favor by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever I release an awesome smart trick like this one. Also, if you like my work, please feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues so that they can accelerate their journey. You can also contribute to my mission by hitting the super thanks button and helping me continue this journey so that others like you can learn and apply data science effectively to grow in their career. Let's get started. In this particular example, we're going to predict sales using YouTube, Facebook and newspaper marketing spends. Now I've already created this exact same model using Excel. If you want to see how this is done on Excel, you can check out that video and I'll put that into a card somewhere here or here. Also, the data link is present in the comment section below. So you can follow along with me using this ML2 regression.csv. Coming back to K9, we're going to begin by input output and we're going to read a CSV file. So I'm going to first drag this one out here. I'm going to say import data, right click, configure. Then I'm going to select the ML regression file and I'm going to say copy path. Minimize this and then paste the path. Now it says with quotation, so I'm just going to remove that and ensure I have only this. If I've done it correctly, you'll see sales, YouTube, Facebook, and newspaper. And then you can press OK and apply. You can then right click here and say execute. Right click on this and say file table and you should be getting the data into K9. Next, I'm going to follow the same process that I've used for building a classification model. If you want to watch this video, I'll place the link in the card section and in the description section below. But after reading the data, we're going to plot a scatter plot and see and find if there is any relations between sales and YouTube for our example. So for that, we are going to take this data and then introduce a scatter plot that we can use. I'm going to take the scatter plot and I'm going to plug in that data. I'm going to change this name to be sales versus YouTube, then I'm going to right click on this and say configure. Now I need to check on this one and say sales and YouTube for X axis and for Y axis YouTube. Now I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to right click and say execute and open views. Once the chart is available, you can see that there is a linear relationship between sales and YouTube. And so we can build a linear regression equation. So I'm going to close this chart. The next thing that we're going to do is split it into train and validation data. For that, we're going to get the partitioning data here. And I'm going to plug in this data. I'm going to write in and say create train and validation. Right click on this and I'm going to say configure. And we're going to say 80% of the data we're going to use for building the model and the rest of them we are going to use for validating. So I'm going to say apply and say OK, right click and then execute. Our next step is to get a regression learner instead of a logistic regression. So we'll look for reg regression here and we're going to use the linear regression learner and along with it we are going to use the regression predictor. Now we also require a scorer which is going to be this time a numeric scorer in this particular example so numeric score we require these three now compared to the logistic regression we have a logistic regression learner in this then a logistic regression predictor and then a scorer in regression we have linear regression learner regression predictor and a numeric scorer now first we're going to build the model that this sequence and then see what's going to happen so i'm going to take the first 80 percent of the data and i'm going to put it into the regression learner here and this is going to be build model then i'm going to right click and say configure now for this example i'm just going to build only for sales and youtube and see how that's going to look like so i'm going to choose sales as the target feature and i'm going to remove facebook and newspaper and just have youtube here say okay and then i can then build the model so i can say execute and open views 
So build the model and I got the coefficient for YouTube and intercept as 8.117. R square is 0.62. Let's see if we can improve this in another video. But for now, we're just going to move ahead with this. Now it is significant since the p-value is less than 0.05. So it's good to go. Next, we're going to pass the model. And this time we're going to pass again the data that we built the model on. Then we're going to say train prediction. This is going to be predictions of sales on the training data that we use. That is the 80% of the data. So I'm going to say right click and configure here and we don't need to do anything here. We'll just get a column called as prediction sales in this example. So I'm going to execute this one and I'm going to say predicted data. And as you can see, I will be getting sales along with prediction sales. So the next thing that is left here is to calculate how accurate we are or how good we are performing on the train accurate. So we have this numeric train performance. Then I'm going to pass both the actuals and the predicted to this numeric score. So I'm going to say configure here and I'm going to compare sales along with the predicted sales. I'm going to say OK and execute and open views. Now, once you open the views, you'll see again the R square that we saw earlier in, in that example. Then you'll see the mean absolute error, mean squared error, root mean squared error, mean sign, sign difference is zero, which is good. And we have mean absolute percentage error, which is 20%, which means we have 80% accurate in this particular model. Typically, we look at the root mean squared or the mean absolute or the mean squared error for regression problem statements. So you want to look at these metrics for evaluating a model. Now, this alone itself is not going to be helpful unless we calculate the validation performances. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to copy these two and paste it. So we got the train prediction and train performance. In this sequence, we'll be getting the validation prediction and validation performance. So I'm going to pass that rest of the 20% of the data here and pass the model that we built on this. So I get that and then I can just say execute since we don't need to configure anything. And we're going to go here and configure this and say the actuals versus the predicted sales. So I'm going to run this and say execute and open views. So we have 13.26 and root mean square is 3.63, which is good compared to what we saw in the train performance. And so this is how we build a regression equation using K9. What we have done is we've imported data, checked whether or not there is a relationship between YouTube and sales, partition the data into 80-20% split, built model on the 80%, then predicted on the 80%, and then scored on the 80%. Then we did the same thing for the 20%, and then with the train performance and the validation performance, Together, we can take a judgment whether or not this is a good model for you or not. So there you go, guys. Now you know how to build a regression machine learning model that too without coding using k -Rime. If you like this video or if you want me to make more no-code examples, please mention all of those details or your questions in the comment section below. If you like this one, you can also watch another video where I show you how to build a logistic regression using k -Rime.